It's time for Encore, Metal, Music and Mayhem. That's all coming up on today's show. A staple on the French metal scene for two decades. Dagobah is bringing down the house with the quartet's seventh record, Black Nova. Dark rifts, symphonic black metal and 90s nostalgia sets the furious tone for this album. Inspired by the epic sounds of American heavy metal royalty, Pantera, Metallica and Fear Factory. The metal frontman with the pipes of steel, Shelter, is here. Shoda, welcome to Uncle. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. Now let's start with metal music. Not everyone gets it, but yet there's this massive subculture and really hardcore fandom there. What do you think is the biggest misconception about metal music? Mm, I think people um, got a uh, bad time to understand the distortion and the speed of uh, this kind of music. But when uh, they, get, they get it, they... Uh, Deep, uh, deep in it, they fall into it for uh, forever, I think. And you were telling me earlier that actually it's very melodic and that's a really big part of the music, something that people might not pick up. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think um, when you, you, you get the, the fact that uh, it could be a speed, uh, a speed music, uh, distorted music, sometimes a violent music, but when you get the melody in it, uh, you understand all the technicity and uh, all the all the emotions that are put in it. So you have to give it a chance and keep listening to try to break into that into yeah. that sound. Well, you're actually from Marseille, Chaudet, which is a city by the sea in the southeastern France, and it's known more for its rap scene than metal. How did you come up? How did metal find you there? Yeah, I think uh, music is an international language, and I think uh, you can come from. Uh, Wherever in the world, when uh, when you fall into metal, you know you just and you feel like, man, I gotta I gotta do it for a for a living. You know, you can come from Marseille, London, New York, whatever. I don't know. You just you just do it. Just gotta do it. It finds you anywhere. Yeah, now exactly. the sound on your new album, Black Nova, is massive. How do you pull that out of yourself as a vocalist? Yeah. What kind uh, of work is involved? Yeah, I think it's a lot of uh, a lot of technicity. Um, I just practice back in the days covering all my favorite uh, metal singer uh, to get the the growl, you know, the distorted distorted voice. Uh, Does it leave you with a sore throat afterwards? Yeah. Oh, no, after uh, lots of practice, you've got. You know, you've got, uh, as, I, as I said in the intro, they're pipes of steel. Yeah, but not, not as much as people could uh, figure, you know, but uh, be because of the techniques. And you're, you're actually classically trained. I mean, we're talking about techniques. You studied at, uh, at the conservatory. Yeah, exactly. Uh, when I was a student, I went two years at the conservatory uh, for um, the notes, you know. And uh, because our music is made of growling and also clean vocal, it's a big part of our music actually uh, I had to learn how to to sing properly in, sing in straight vocal. yeah <laughs> did you ever put on a metal show for your teachers at the conservatory uh, no no never <laughs> Would they have flunked you given you an F no no no, no pass? I was I was pretty good at, at clean vocal okay well let's take a look at something not so clean a little more distorted the me let's get to the music now this is stone ocean song is one of the more melodic and electronic cuts on the album and it's come as a bit of a surprise to some of your fans who've been following you since the uh, the late 90s uh, is this a new Dagoba that we're seeing um, not especially because the electronic part uh, and the clean vocal part um, always been a, 
uh, a part of our music since our uh, first record. Uh, but what I can say is that we push uh, a little bit further the the boundary of our uh, of our music. So electronic part are maybe pushed a little bit further. Clean vocal also. But I think we are an open-minded band, and uh, that's what I, I, I like to into metal. It's that uh, we can put like clean vocal, distorted part, uh, speed, uh, ballads. I don't know everything. All in one. Yes, there's no the there's, there's no limits, and that's what I I love the most into into metal. No limits. No I limits. Like that. Well, you guys actually have a reputation as being a really powerhouse live band, and it's pretty obvious if you take a look at the kind of frenzy you whip crowds into. Now, Shoulder, I've heard of moshing, crowd surfing, skanking, wrecking, and the push, but nothing comes close to the wall of death. Now, this is something you really have to see to believe. Take a look. That's at Hell's Fest, that's you there, commanding this massive wall of death. Shorter, what are we seeing here? What are the people doing? Yeah, I think the craziest uh, audience ever, I think. And, and, and how do they come out alive from that? I don't know, it's like, well, sometimes st stuff like that happen uh, during a metal gig. And that's also what I, what I love uh, in our uh, music and our community is, uh, is People can could say it's violence, but it's not. It's just pure energy, and uh, even if uh, it's uh, it seems like a mass destruction, <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's controlled chaos. Yeah, it's controlled chaos. Everybody, it's living with that yeah, abandon. everybody is very kind and friendly in the audience, and uh, that's also. Uh, why I so much love uh, being a metalhead and being part of this community. Well, I have to say, being part of, the, of a wall of death is now on my bucket list. It's something that I have to do. I'm going to yep. have to get to your yep. next concert. Yep. I'm going to be there leading the charge, leading the wall of death. Now, aside from uh, your own music and metal music, what, what other music do you listen to? Actually, I listen to every kind of music from Queen to Pantera to Phoenix to Arcade Fire. To, to Door Cinema Club, I, if, if I like a record, I don't mind if it's pop or uh, metal or opera. Uh, I like good music and I think there is good music everywhere. I like that spirit. Now let's see if we can add to your playlist with our music news of the week, starting with Pink. 17 years after her first Billboard Hot 100 hit, the pop icon is back with her seventh studio album, Beautiful Trauma. It's her first since 2012's chart topping The Truth About Love. Now, while the record is a different shade for the singer, it's still all pink, power ballads and empowering anthems with a feminist bent round out the track list. The Grammy winner recently announced a 40-date North American arena tour starting in March of next year. This is What About Us. What about us? What do you think, Shoda? Pink's not your typical cookie cutter, cutter pop star there. Actually, uh, I like I like Pink music, and I'm pretty sure she's listening to metal at home. I'm pretty sure because think, of her look, her tattoo, and everything. Yeah, she's. I think she, I think she's a metal chick at heart. Moving on to another singer who I think would be into metal, Saint Vincent's fifth studio album is all about reinvention. Mass seduction is a sultry lesson on the trappings of modern times. 
Grammy-winning artist Annie Clark reflects on vanity, celebrity culture and reality versus fantasy in an age of social media. Well, St. Vincent is currently on her aptly titled Fear of the Future tour across the United States. He's St. Vincent's tongue-in-cheek take on the so-called City of Angels. This is Los Ageless. The Los Ages hang out by the bar Burn the pages of And finally, Beck is back three years after his triple Grammy-winning album, Morning Phase. The American singer's 13th outing, Colors, dips into a more experimental pop palette with broad strokes of bright 60s rock. We're going to press play on that in just a second. But first, thank you for joining us, Shorter. Thank you very, thank much, you very much for sharing your story and your music. Give Black Nova a listen, everyone. It's out now. We're going to leave you with Beck. This is Up All Night. Remember our website. Connect with us on social media. There's more news coming up on France 24 right after this. Take a look.